We've come to share in the passion of Tunde the Cobbler. While there may be lots of cobblers out there, Tunde's story replicates with courage and some level of inspiration. He is currently on a wheelchair after he had an encounter with some robbers disguised as transporters in 2013, an encounter that has since kept him that way. When I close that day, I get to Yanokwaja bus stop. From Yanokwaja bus stop to Hushudi. Hushudi bus stop. That was on the bridge of Hushudi. So, unfortunately, I came across the uh, Hamrobi commercial bus, which was so called one chance, people will normally say. The driver brought out a gun, not knowing another person in the back, bring, they also have a gun. So, I don't even know what, what happened the next time. I was just like, a lot of uh, this thing, uh, beating up. They beat me up, uh, give me slap, blow. In spite of that experience that kept him in the hospital for a while, and has since led to the extraction of 10 bullet pellets from his spine, Tunde Lawal, rather than take to self-pity or begging as many in a situation would probably do, he picked up the courage to live his life and earn a living. The spirit it was, it was very like, well, now like pushing me that, let me, let me start doing my handwork. So because I have that, so I have that so confidence in me that if I do this thing, people will like it. Uh, I've been thinking of doing it a long time ago, but due to because I don't have enough strength. If I sit down for like 30 minutes like this, I'll, I'll, st I'll be start to be feeling it kind of an unbearable pain from the back, even as, as at now. I'm just ignoring it. Uh, that's just it. With the support of his mother and a few others, Tunde has forged ahead, working from his small apartment, churning out some lovely palm slippers through the pains, which he hopes that someday would go away and he would be able to walk again. My advice to others is that whatever the pain or whatever they are going through, and what you have the, the talent in you, the confidence in you. So you have to ignore the pain and, and do and bring out the best in you. And let's see what God will surely do. Tunde's experience may have been crippling, but he remains undaunted. And whenever the pain kicks in, he finds his bed. Often with the expectation that tomorrow will bring him that miracle that would get him back on his feet. Chris Elams, Channels Television News.